I am just loving the cherry tomatoes right now. I'm so fortunate that I have a source that gets them right out of the garden and onto my kitchen counter. And from my kitchen counter, they go right into my mouth. I'm eating them like candy all day long. They're so sweet and delicious. Another way I like to eat them is a way that gives you a really quick, fast and delicious meal. A meal in minutes is what I like to say. So the first thing I did was preheat my oven to 375 degrees and then I washed my cherry tomatoes, cut them in half and laid them in a shallow baking dish with the cut side up. Then all I have to do is make a little drizzle to put over the top before we put them in the oven. So I've got three tablespoons of olive oil that I'm going to put into a, just a measuring cup. You can use any kind of bowl to mix it up in. And I've got three chubby cloves of garlic that I've minced up and I'm going to put those into the olive oil. Never too much garlic, right? And then one tablespoon of honey. That just gives a double blast of sweetness to these great cherry tomatoes. And then all I have to do is whisk it up. You can use a whisk or a fork. When these three ingredients are mixed together, I'm just going to kind of dollop the little minced garlic right over the top of the tomatoes before I pour the, the honey and the olive oil over the top. So just kind of spread it out a little bit. It's nice to try to be sure that all of the tomatoes have a little bit of this olive oil and honey mixture on them. So just drizzle it over slowly, get it all covered. And then because I have some thyme growing in my garden, I like to put a little sprig of fresh thyme right over the top and that adds a lot of delicious flavor too. So at this point, all I need is a little pepper and a little bit of salt. I like to use sea salt for the best flavor. Just sprinkle that over the top and then into the oven it goes 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. And at this point all you need to do is toss this whole mixture up with about eight ounces of cooked angel hair pasta. Maybe tear some fresh basil over it and a little bit of nice fresh parmesan cheese over the top maybe a little bit more pepper, and it is a meal to die for. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.